I want to do a comparative analysis of uh, a couple of software tools when we are speaking about small business accounting software, okay? So we want to compare and contrast into this conversation FreshBooks, HoneyBook, Wave, QuickBooks, Zero, and Zoho Books. Don't you go anywhere. You're going to love today's conversation. I guarantee it. Welcome back, folks, to another edition of the Awesome Sweetie Kiwi Show. How are you today? I hope you are doing fantastic. I'm doing marvelous, if you are to ask me. If you are doing as great as I am, go grab a cup of coffee or tea or vodka and let's roll. <laughs> In today's conversation, we want to do a, a comparative analysis of six players when it comes to a small business accounting software. So we have FreshBooks, HoneyBook, Wave, QuickBooks, Zero, and Zoho Books. I want to start with FreshBooks. So when you think about FreshBooks, I want, to, I want you to think about a software tool that allows you to juggle multiple uh, tasks when it comes to accounting, when it comes to uh, taking care of uh, multiple clients, paying, uh, paying your bills on time, your invoices, taking care of all that. So FreshBooks allows you to centralize the, the accounting process here. Here are the pros and cons. The pros. The software is, is intuitive and easy to use. You have affordable prices at a lower tier. You have double entry accounting reports that actually has, a, they do have a, a strong feature. They do provide an easy to use accounting software for freelancers, solopreneurs, and small business owners. Okay. It's very simple to use. Very important. They have a well-rated customer support. They have good invoicing services. So this is kind of cool. Here are the cons. So this software, FreshBooks, is not tailored for large businesses. You have extra costs per month if you have to add an additional team member. They have fewer customization options than other software. Okay, They do limit the number of users. There is no bank reconciliation or accountant access in lowest tier plan. And they don't provide quarterly tax estimates. You got to be really clear about that. So when you think about FreshBooks, I just want to think about a, a program that allows you to take care of a small business accounting. Okay. And uh, they do have uh, several plans from light to plus to premium to select. It really depends on which one are you, you're really looking for. And if you opt for an annual plan instead of a monthly plan, you will receive a 10% discount on your chosen subscription. Okay. And there are other benefits that you really need to think about. In our view, the interface is really easy to navigate, okay? So if you are looking for a simple solution, very simple solution to organize your business accounting in one system, it won't take long to get started with the basics and they will send you your, you can actually send your first invoice through FreshBooks, very easy, okay? And uh, you, you do have a free trial version, you have a free version for in some cases if you are looking for uh, if you're looking for uh, let's say depending on the size of your business okay so that the bottom line is is fresh book right for your business it really depends on you but this again if you're a freelancer if you're a small business owner if you need to send invoices and accept payments as part of your business in a very simple manner it's good for you and in terms of pricing i want you to look right now on the screen here is the pricing for fresh books <music> I want to talk now about HoneyBook. So when you think about HoneyBook, I want you to think about a, a software tool that allows you to do a lot of things. Here are, but they are really focused more on CRM and uh, accounting is just part of uh, their uh, their offers. But they're not at the beginning. They they are not a hundred percent accounting software. I really want to emphasize that. Okay, so they are a CRM, a client relationship management manager tool. Okay, and uh, so here are the pros and cons. The pros. They do have a friendly and user-focused CRM for entrepreneurs. They have an easy onboarding service and great support. Fantastic. They have a dynamic pipeline-focused system. They integrate business management, invoicing, automation, and payments. Okay. And they have a versatile iOS and Android apps. Here are the cons. They do cost more than other small business CRMs. They might not suit larger businesses or teams. And in our view, they have limited integrations, okay? So when you think about HoneyBook, this, they're not just a small business customer relationship management solution. They are actually integrate accounting, 
they integrate uh, project management, they, in, they integrate other stuff, okay? And one thing you need to understand what we love here is that the user interface and design is very great. It's wonderful. Honeybook presents a very clean and minimalist design, but also incorporates some friendly tips and personal touches across the interface, especially when it comes to accounting and billing, okay? And so everything is pretty clear. And what we love is that they do have pipeline, they do show you the tools that you need for your accounting, but also for your CRM, but also for your project management. So adding projects is one way to get started. You can create a new accounting project, add contacts, details, and notes, as well as set calendar events. For example, if you want to do your monthly closing, your quarterly closing, your financial reporting calendar, you can set everything up in HoneyBook, okay? And what we love here is that they do have a solid mobile app integration well so honey honeybook does a great job when it comes to their their apps whether you are download, downloading their app from android or ios fantastic okay and one th and so once you have that you have instant access to honeybook's constellation of features and uh, and modules okay and self-employed entrepreneurs it, it will, they will love this kind of uh, integration because you are able to access your accounting and your uh, financial reporting on the go this is really great and uh, we love the fact that honeybook is as i said before is primarily a crm tool they just happen to have i would say 20 percent to 25 percent of their modules we have to focus on accounting and financial reporting i want you to see the pricing right now on the screen as of the date of this show let's talk about wave so when you think about Wave, this is the third uh, software tool I want to raise you into this conversation. When you think about Wave, if you are a small business owner in search of free cloud-based accounting software, Wave accounting is worth considering, okay? This is particularly true if you don't have much accounting experience and would like an easy to use, fully functional tool. It's the, it's one of the, it's the only free options that you have right now and they can allow you to manage your accounting processes in one convenient place now how do they make money they charge on on other modules so here is here are the pros so there is a forever free version available you have a constellation of features you have robust reporting and you have unlimited expenses invoices and, and receipts okay this is really good and they also have unlimited users with varied user permissions here are the cons. They do have poor customer service, no extras such as time tracking and inventory management to increase functionality. Okay, this is important. And no phone support. I want to, I want to really want to emphasize that when you have uh, no phone support, live chat support is only available for paid services for things like wave payments and payroll okay if it's free it's it has to be free they have to find us things somehow right so when you think about wave accounting i want you to think about free software meaning you don't need to submit a credit card or payment information to use it so this can help you manage your bookkeeping accounting and invoicing processes through a few internal integrations okay and this is really good so with wave you'll be able to send unlimited customized invoices to your customers you can manage an unlimited number of expenses and you can try unlimited receipts through their receipt scanning and capture feature okay so they do have uh, other benefits they have a wave payroll they have wave invoicing so they do charge for those services though but their wave accounting is actually they don't charge it's basically their um, what I would call their their uh, lead their lead generation uh, tool okay and so is wave right for your business it really depends are you looking for are you a startup are you a micro business or are you a sole proprietor who doesn't want to invest in accounting software but needs to keep track of your finances so wave accounting is a great option so as long as you are content with the basic features and don't see yourself expanding in the foreseeable feature you'll find this wave uh, feature of uh, this wave uh, software completely free and it's easy to use particularly appealing okay and uh, you want to think about you want to think about the number of users because here it's unlimited okay and uh, so wave accounting does work in a very simple way you can sign up for wave quickly and easily online so after providing a few basic details about your business things like name type currency you use address you will have instant access to your free account okay in terms of costs and features i want you to look right now on the screen here are the costs that you need to actually think about if you want to sign up for things like wave payments wave accounting uh, wave invoicing wave payroll wave advisors okay 
And so overall, when we think about the benefits of wave accounting, it's free. You have customizable invoicing. It's, it's very easy to use. Fantastic. Let me talk to you now about QuickBooks, which is a name that is very ubiquitous when we talk about small business accounting. And uh, so when you think about QuickBooks, QuickBooks is one of the preeminent cloud-based accounting software platforms on the market. Okay, so they have uh, five plans available, including a plan specifically for self-employed individuals and independent contractors. So there are several options you can choose from depending on your needs, okay? So QuickBooks is only great, it's great for a variety of industries, a variety of businesses. So as I said before, it doesn't matter whether you are self-employed, you are a big business, you are a small business, it doesn't matter, okay? So this is uh, one thing I want to say here is that QuickBooks also offers uh, a number of other services at additional charge. So you have to think about the extras. If you think about your, your accounting software budget, be very careful here, okay? And so here are QuickBooks planes and pricing. So as I said, they, they offer five planes. You have the self-employed simple start essentials plus an advanced okay so these planes are scalable with each plane offering additional features in addition to the features included in the lower priced plane so for this reason businesses can start with the most cost effective option and move up as their business grows and needs change very important to think about so one thing i want to say is that you know so if you're self-employed this is you want to go for the self-employed chart self-employed plane if you are a small business that just started you go for the simple start. If you're a small business that is that's established but you are still struggling to make revenue, you want to go to you want to go for the essentials. Okay, so small businesses that are growing may want to use QuickBooks Essentials. So the plan offers up to three users all the features of QuickBooks Simple Start plus the ability to track hours worked and manage bills. Okay, and uh, you can go for the plus. The plus is the most popular plan for businesses because it includes features such as inventory tracking project management and tax support it also includes up to five users per account so mid-sized businesses with several customers or clients might benefit from the ability to track profitability with quickbooks plus and uh, so you have also have the advanced the advanced plan this is actually for large businesses okay and uh, so large businesses with substantial accounting teams may want to consider the QuickBooks Advanced Plan. So this plan significantly extends the function. The the plan extends the functionality of the other plans by offering features such as a dedicated account team. This is really good to help if you want to uh, if you need help. They also offer workflow automation, data restoration, batch invoices, and on-demand online training. And this covers up to 25 users and provides dedicated customer support and advanced reporting features. So it's totally up to you. It's totally up to the kind of uh, the kind of needs, the kind of uh, services you need with your QuickBooks uh, software purchase. Let's talk now about zero. Okay, and I, and I really want to when you talk about zero, you are thinking about very innovative accounting software and uh, let me look at the pros and cons what are the pros here they do have exceptional online support they have improved security critical business views you have interactive codes smart list this is really good they also offer a good project tracking in terms of your accounting and all plans support unlimited users all plans include basic inventory management and they also have automated bill and receipt capture okay so here are the cons they do lack phone and uh, chat help. So the user interface, in our view, could be more intuitive, navigable. Right now, it's not. They don't have no live support. I just said that. Live phone support, okay? And they do have limits on bills and invoices with the entry-level plan. So when you think about Zero, I want you to think about a software tool that simplifies the standard accounting process for small businesses. And uh, basically, you're able to you have things like double entry. They actually have a financial reporting. You have bills and expenses. You have inventory and payroll management. Okay, you can create records for customers, suppliers, employees, and uh, and items. You can then use these records in standard customizable transactions such as invoices, purchase orders, and quotes. 
and Zero also lets you manage fixed asset, something competitors don't. So this is really important to really always keep in mind. And one thing I want to say here is that in terms of appearance and uh, and uh, navigation, very good, very good. Zero is very clean. It's very, it's very. Um, we love the the fact that the Zero's dashboard displays account balances with links to reconciliation screens, which have been revamped and simplified. And the dashboard also shows numbers and graphs representing outstanding invoices and unpaid bills, as well as total cash in and out. Very good. And making records in Zero is very straightforward. It's uh, it, you know, we love that part. It's very simple, straightforward, and uh, you. They also have a new invoice form that is very clear, that is very uh, straightforward. Also, we love the user, the UX. They, they, they really paid attention a lot to how their clients feel when they actually issue a new invoice form. So we love that. If you do it through Zero, it's very simple. Creating transactions in Zero is very simple, okay? And uh, so, but you need to build up your contacts, though. You need to also have your item slash service records. Okay, you can also take care of expenses and sales tax in Zero, not a problem. You can track projects. Okay, and Zero also love we love the fact that Zero has integrated artificial intelligence in their accounting software. I would say updating process in the last few years. So they are basically using machine learning to learn about to learn more about your accounting, your specific businesses accounting practices. Okay. So you also have payroll and reports with zero. Very easy. You also have uh, we love the fact that zero is integrated. They do have integrated apps and have resources. They have mobile apps. Fantastic. Okay. So in terms of pricing, here is a pricing you need to know about as of the date of this show. Let me actually review now what we have uh, the last one, Zoho Books. And uh, it's really important to understand that when we talk about Zoho Books, we are talking about a player that is very easy to use, cloud-based accounting software with an invoice inventory and project management system. Okay, and what we love here is that they offer a competitive free plan and a constellation of features to make your processes easier and more efficient. So when you think about Zoho, I want you to think about a particularly good option if you are a smaller or medium-sized businesses in search of, of uh, an, an alternative, okay, software in terms of the larger, you know, if you like, if you if you don't want if you don't want QuickBooks, for instance, then Zoho could be a, gr a great uh, option for you. Let's look at the pros and cons. Pros: free plan is available. Feature-rich accounting software, they have a robust mobile app, and they have an impressive list of support options, okay? They have a Zoho Finance Suite integrations, so you have Zoho Invoice, Expense, Zoho Expense, Zoho Inventory, Zoho Subscription, Zoho Checkout. Very great, okay? And you have to understand that Zoho Books is part of the Zoho Finance Suite, which is designed to... So this suite is designed to help businesses manage their finance and operations, okay? And uh, here are the cons maximum of 10 users you must invest in higher level plans for advanced features and they do have limited integration okay so this is really something you need to think about so when you think about their the number of uh, the fact that they actually limit people to uh, 10 or 15 this is kind of low because quickbooks online support up to 25 users in its most expensive plan but with zoho it's only 15. So when you think about Zoho at a glance, you want to think about a software tool that offers a free plan and three subscription options that range from $15 to $60 per month, okay? And uh, not only do the higher level plans allow for more users and invoices, but they also include advanced features like purchase approvals, vendor portals, and custom modules, okay? And uh, other benefits, you have things like they do have add-on options. That you can increase the functionality of the software. Okay, if you let's say if you find a Zoho plan that meets your needs, but you would like to add more users, you can add a user to your account for three dollars per month. Okay, and so this is really good. And uh, one thing we love also is that Zoho is constantly innovating. We love that. And in terms of pricing, they're pricely. Uh, they're, I would say, they're competitively priced. I want you to look right now on the screen. Here is the pricing for Zoho as of the date of this show. Okay, and uh, if you want to try out Zoho before you commit to a paid plan, you can do so. There is a 14-day free trial that can give you an idea of whether this is a good fit for your specific businesses. I'll be right back right after this. Don't go anywhere.
Welcome back folks to another session of the awesome Sweetie Kiwi Show. So I just went through uh, the six accounting software tools and I just want to give you an overview before we make a decision. We tell you which which one we prefer. It's very important to understand that accounting software is important nowadays because uh, you don't have to hire an accountant anymore. You don't have to hire you don't have to hire a CPA. You can do things yourself. Now you can try to do depending on the size of your business, you can use accounting software to run your operations or you can just hire an accountant or even build an in-house accounting team. It depends on your needs, it depends on the industry you're in, it depends on the the kind of the size if you're a small business company or you're a small you're a mid-sized business or you are just a small business okay but one thing for sure when we talk about accounting software before you buy make sure that you have accounts receivable and invoices okay? because you want to be able to track income and revenue generate invoices print shipping labels and track shipments you want to think about accounts payable so you want to track payments do create checks pay vendors and generate purchase orders you want to think about payroll and timekeeping you want to track employee hours create checks process direct deposits you want to do project tracking so you can track project timelines deliverables and budgets in your financial reporting process you want to think about inventory management right so you want to monitor inventory levels t track stock values and forecast product rewards you also want to be in a situation where you have a, an accounting software tool that helps you with reports so you can automatically generate a variety of standard and custom reports to track company financials so beyond these basics many accounting software solutions offer additional features such as time tracking and billing banking and reconciliation credit card processing 24 7 mobile access tax services and support remote backup and more so it's totally up to you to understand what are your needs what are you looking for so as you sift through accounting software options looking for the right one for your business know that there is no single perfect solution really and we have res we have actually researched researched the tens of accounting software tools okay so just as every startup or small business is unique so too are the accounting software platforms okay each has its strength and weaknesses so the question then becomes which features do you absolutely need to run your business and which are less critical to your success and to answer you that question and kind of help you deepen the conversation let me give you a few pro tips that will actually help you one thing you need to understand is that as you start your search here are very important questions to ask okay what which accounting features are must-haves in other words you need to determine which accounting features are the most quite essential for your business so this is the simplest way, this is the simplest way in our view to quickly weed out inadequate solutions if you employ uh, let's say you employ personnel payroll services with direct deposit that also have that also save you from uh, calculating time cards may be longed on the list if you are a retailer, having features like inventory management and credit card processing could save you significant time and money, right? So do you need industry-specific software or accounting capabilities? So different industries have different requirements when it comes to reporting financials. So you can find accounting software solutions tailored to the specific needs of construction companies, healthcare organizations, manufacturers, and many others okay so knowing your industry's requirements and best practices should help you determine which accounting functions are must-haves so if you're not sure this is an area worth researching okay so industry trade association and uh, talking with uh, colleagues are a great place to start and you need, you need to think about what type of uh, user interface is the best fit for how you work so it's it, like if the side of a spreadsheet makes you break out into a nervous sweat then you want to steer clear of software that relies on excel and csv file reports or other overlay structured user interface formats right so you can find accounting software platforms that operate payroll and invoicing with simple visual reports created specifically for the untrained accounting eye okay so this is something to think about and how important are features like data security customer support and scalability Okay, so how important is the security and safeguarding your and your customers' information? Do you need 24-7 customer support? Can the software scale to meet the needs of your company as, your, as the company grows? 
okay so the bottom line here is that knowing your needs ahead of time will alleviate bias remorse later okay so it's really it's about time you find uh, you find your perfect match we actually have covered a lot of uh, accounting software tools in, in this uh, in this conversation so i'm going to reveal to you our best our best 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 selection here So FreshBooks versus HoneyBook versus uh, Wave versus uh, QuickBooks versus Zero versus Zoho Books. So which one will actually work for you? It really depends. It really depends because, you know, as I said before, it depends on your needs. It depends on what you're looking for. And the most important thing is you got to be clear about what kind of features you're looking for. Do you have the resources? What kind of, uh, how many users do you have? What is your company size? What are your needs? What is the level of sophistication that you need? Those are important elements, okay? And the thing here is that what kind of a user experience are you looking for? Are you looking for something very simple? So the decisions you're going to make will be based on a constellation of things. So after uh, analyzing these six players, our pick is FreshBooks. We believe FreshBooks actually offers the a right mix of a uh, user interface of simplicity of the whole process so we have a uh, chosen fresh books so fresh books 9.8 over 10 0 9.7 over 10 so this is this was a close call between zero and fresh books those two are our favorites they were really great and quickbooks comes in third position at 9.4 over 10 zoho books 9 over 10 honeybook 8.5 over 10 and wave 6.9 over 10 thank you so much for your attention i really appreciate it I'll see you next time, but until then, remember, stay marvelous.